Hey, it's cool here. If you don't know, and it is time to start a brand new long run. Hey there, Terry. How you doing? So last time we beat Chrono Trigger. In fact, we beat it twice. <laughs> Somehow managed to um, defeat Lavos um, on the speed run attempt with the Dream Team ending. But uh, yeah. This time we're starting a new game, and uh, this is a game that I had previously meant to play, but I didn't have a proper way of playing it. So um, it got delayed a little bit, but we're finally get getting around to it. And for this game, we're heading back to the Switch. So, let's play. You can probably guess based on the loading icon. Once it wants to load anyway. There we go. We're playing Kirby Star Allies. So, you can probably guess I've played this game before. <laughs> I have not reached 100% because some of the post-game stuff is really hard. Um, I'm going to be aiming for as close to 100% as possible. No guarantees. We'll see what happens. Uh, also, let me just make sure that my settings are correct here because I'm noticing some frame drops. It's probably as good as I'm going to get. Okay. Uh, just what I wanted, another challenging new mode. Oh, it's just going through all of these. Okay. I don't know why it has to go through all of these every time. Um, I start a new file. But we'll probably be seeing all of these characters throughout our adventure. So, spoilers, I guess. How many are there? Okay, I get it. Please, game, let me start. Yes, thank you, I've seen all of you. Dream friends. We'll we'll find out what that means later in the game. New celebration picture. Cool. All right. Maybe I should have done that um, before starting, but here we are now. I guess the kind of spoilers. <laughs> Pop ups, please. Yeah, I suppose if their characters from other game. Well. And kind of, yeah, we'll get to that. Anyway, story mode. Pretty high res um, cutscene. I don't know why. Oh dear. And then King DDD gets infected by something for like the 19th time. However, Kirby is too pure for that crap.
Well, that's ominous. I mean, not as ominous, not as ominous as the universe literally imploding from the um, Forgotten Land, but uh, you know. No. Okay. Need to get used to these controls again. Cause it's been a while since I've played this game. But we have this little world screen. And run around, there's sometimes gonna be some secrets and things that you can find. Not gonna look too hard for them. Green Gardens. Something is happening in Castle DVD again. I kind of appreciate this method of tutorializing because uh, it makes it so that if you know how to play the game, you can just play it. Kirby, why are you panicking so much? You've seen like a million of these guys. But here's this game's gimmick. We can basically have hostile takeovers of enemies to turn into friends. And have head snuggles. I think in order to be able to make a friend, the uh, enemy in question must have an ability. Let's try making friends with this Wallaby, for instance. Or let's also not, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, sure enough. While these don't have abilities, they're not good enough to be our friend, I guess. Computer player is usually smart enough to figure out what it is you're trying to do. This game is aggressively new style for me. Yeah, you're not wrong. So here is an additional gimmick to the gimmick. I can hold up the sword and have it uh, emblazoned with fire energy, make a sizzle sword. There are a few combinations like that. Oh jeez. Probably don't want to be anywhere near that explosion. Closest thing we'll ever have to the Kirby 64 style of abilities. I would say arguably, arguably like, um, Return to Dreamland kind of set the bar for uh, what Kirby games should be from uh, that moment forward. And every mainline Kirby game except for Forgotten Land has been in that style, for better or worse. 
Yeah, it's still an alright game and all, but uh, it can it can definitely feel a little same after a while. We're gonna enjoy it for what it is. Oh geez. And yes, there there are dodge rolls in this game. Let's make friends with you. If we make it a fourth friend, we're gonna have to pick someone to throw away. I say throw away, that sounds so mean actually. You gonna do your thing there? There you go. The rare puzzle pieces, I think, are basically the uh, Vinnie in stages. I, it's been a little while since I've played, so... Kirby is basically brainwashing enemies. I'm not sure we can say it in a nice way. <laughs> You're not wrong. Anyway, goal game. Works the same as every other goal game. Still makes me sad that uh, there is only the one Kirby dance anymore. So I'm pretty sure that they stole this part here from that one 3DS feature where you get to trade puzzle pieces with people. Hi. Yeah, exactly, Tyrion. I managed to clear a decent number of, uh, of pictures in that, but uh, never was able to completely finish it. If you go to like a convention or something, you can occasionally find someone who's carrying around their 3DS and able to uh, trade around some puzzle pieces that way, but uh, it's pretty rare to find someone just out in the wild nowadays. Kirby, please aim. This game does support up to four players, as you might assume. The same kind of uh, item transfer thing as say Kirby Superstar, where you pick up a, uh, a restorative item and you're able to share it around with everyone else. And yes, you can uh, you can hit a copy pedestal with a friend heart and get a friend that way as well.
Yeah. Boom. <laughs> How satisfying to get a uh, a bunch of them in a single blow. No way. Red door. Red door is pretty much a uh, the game's way of telling you go here for uh, the thing that you need to collect. Okay, so apparently I need to have like ice stone. Ah. Just, just the thing for a Canadian such as myself. Unfortunately, that does mean that I lost my, uh, my sword ability. Okay, well, I can also get water stone. What does that mean? A splash cream. Ah uh, yes, the uh, the well-known sport of splash curling. All right, sure. It's a really weird that you only get to use it once, though. And yeah, you only get the uh, the whole cutscene thing the one time. Well, I say that you get you get it the one time per ability per session. So next session we're gonna see those again. <laughs> effects to your weapon, as we've, as we've demonstrated a few times now. What'd that do? Dream Palace open. You push the big switch on that opens the Dream Palace on the world map. What is the Dream Palace? Well, we've probably pieced it together by now, but uh, we'll get to that when we get out of here. It's nice of the goal game here to actually let you decide when to start, so it doesn't just launch you immediately. Okay, well I guess it does time out after a second. Because I didn't press that for a save press. Ooh. The rare pieces are always going to go in the center where the uh, the pink spaces are. <clears throat> Hi. Honey Hill. And also, the Dream Palace. Well, let's go take a look at what that is. You might meet legendary characters. The Dream Palace is now unlocked. And yeah, it does tell us, like, what we've collected in each stage. So we got the rare puzzle piece, and we got the switch. What opens this? Impossible to complete all the puzzles in one. I think you might be right on that. 
So in the Dream Palace, we get the Dream Rod. When you grab the Dream Rod, the roulette will start. Press A to call Dream Friends. Oops, that's not it. I'm not sure what the requirement is to unlock characters. Well, let's start off with the very basics, Bandanity. Because Bandanity is a very good friend. Dream Pulse, aka the cameo system. Lots of different things that uh, the stone can be. Also, Yo-Yo makes a return. I guess they must have actually licensed it properly this time. <laughs> So I need to make friends with you. Um, fire yo-yo, or sizzle yo-yo, I guess. It allows us to do this. Looks like Bandanity can take care of the, the long grass. And also, now that we have uh, firepower, we can just burn it down too. This area requires at least two dudes. And there is usually a reason for this sort of door. Let's see what, what we can find. Ooh, look at that. They kind of split our party up there. Yeah. Oh, Dribbly is not, uh, not doing too good. a little bit of uh, restorative power there, though. I'm not that far away. I wonder if I can... Yeah! Well, that hurt. More or less, I think, if you if you remember doing it in Kirby Superstar, then you can probably do it here too. Oh, jeez. Oh gosh. Oh heck. It's gradually gaining speed, and by gaining speed, I mean it's just kind of. Chillin' on its own accord. Later, guys.
fuses don't quite go at the same speed that they did um, in other Kirby games. I do definitely remember the fuse um, not taking quite as long to get to places. And here's a switch. But what do we get out of this one? Extra stage! You push the big switch that opens an extra stage on the world map. As can probably be expected, the extra stage is gonna be a um, bit of a difference boost from uh, the rest of, the, of uh, the level. tend to be a little trickier at the very least. We are still in level 1, so it's not going to be brutal, but uh... Oh jeez, what's going on here? Alright. Man your battle stations. Boom. Nice visual indication as well of like exactly when you need to press to get the uh, the top spot. Unfortunately, with the shadow cast, there's a bit of a delay, so that's not gonna help me a whole lot. But it's still nice that it exists. Fruity Forest, and also Extra Eclair. There's more adventure to be found, and Extra Stage is now unlocked. And we found everything here. Let's go straight into the Extra Stage. Ooh. I like me some ninja. It's probably my favorite ability from uh, Kirby Superstar, honestly. Well, one of my favorites, anyway. It's, it's my favorite for if I need to deal a lot of damage fast. Must be Splash Ninja. Okay. The one or the other decision, huh? I guess I could probably have done both if I had, like, manipulated my, uh, my dudes to, uh, be, like, in the various places. Well. Trying to not press that button, but okay. That seemed to be the correct way to go anyway. Hmm. 
I am suspicious of this particularly tall tree. I am right to do so. Oh, it's a key. Key that allows, allows us access to some puzzle pieces. And also, a red door. Puzzle shall we find therein? Uh, we, uh, we definitely did beat that, um, that fuse, didn't we? Well, that was neat. And that's even more neat. Also, Dribbly keeps uh, taking lots of damage all the time. Don't know what's going on with that. Oh, jeez. Run, run, run. Don't walk. Run. Exploding into Waddle Dees everywhere. friend. Oh. What is this? Vividria. Apparently Vividra here can paint us a picture. And as we all know, anything that is uh, that is drawn on a conveniently placed easel in Dreamland becomes reality. Oh, just barely. Make us some puzzles. Bonkers is our buddy. Buddy with a big hammer. Sister of Drasha and Pintra. More than likely, yes. Fruity Forest. Because Drasha was uh, Canvas Curse and Pintra must have been Rainbow Curse. That we got it for his hyper candy. Let's go. Hyper candy, of course, makes us invulnerable.
Pantro is one of the bosses in Triple Bullets, okay. It's, it's also been a while since I've played Triple Deluxe. I think I did uh, the Kirby's All-Star Legend series on Low Bias Gaming like two and a half years ago. So that was the last time I have played Triple Deluxe. It so that we can kind of rejigger our energy Motron. Unfortunately, that does mean that we lose our splash capability. And nobody else has something to murder this, so that's unfortunate. So it looks like it's time for main state boss of Wispy Woods, Guardian of the Forest. I'm just gonna stick around here if you don't mind. Oh jeez. Alright. Wispy Woods gonna just uh do thing, I guess. <laughs> Mandatory first boss, a tree. Well, Wispy Woods actually doesn't show up in every game. Most games, though. And if Wispy Woods doesn't show up, then it's usually something akin to it. Also, what was that heart that flew away? Hmm. Also, that was a very short stage. Uh, seems to be heading toward Castle DDD, so I guess let's go over there. I saw you there. Clash at, uh, Clash at Demon Head, which I mean Castle DDD. That looks interesting. I'm not sure if that's something. Might just be decoration. I'm sure, a lot of people like fire as well. I'm a little bit uh, more. Uh, acclimated to ninja myself. Bugsy! Come be our friend, Bugsy. Uh... Come on, let go, my buddy Ben Danity. He's my best friend. Throw. Okay. I guess that's the thing we can do. Oh, 
Also, apparently, we can get in on that. Oh, missed that attack. take a, a little bit of a hit there uh, to kind of get that, but hey. At least we don't need to worry about the uh, rare puzzle piece anymore. I will defeat you with the power of friendship. Grabs friend and throws at opponent. Not out of uh, area one, we're already at 23 lives. Yeah. We're probably not going to have to ever worry about lives. I'll just run with what we got. Hey, buddy. What are you possessed with this time? Seriously, dude, you need to check yourself. You're so easily corruptible. Oh dear. This may be an issue. Adding some big DP arms for good murder. What's your budget as far as this uh, as far as this castle is concerned? Because people keep poking holes everywhere. That's probably not cheap. Like, come on, dude. There we go. Sit down, let's talk this out, alright, bud? <laughs> Buff DDD. Reminds you from the salesman from the anime? Oh boy. And pose. Yay, we beat the game! <laughs> Well, hope y'all enjoyed this playthrough of Kirby Star Allies. I'm cool here if you don't know, and I'll see you guys. Wait a minute. Um. Yeah, what's the deal with that thing? I guess we should probably check on that before calling this game over, right? Onward!
Almost done with uh, the rare pieces on this one. And now we've got Dream Friend King DDD. And also all of these people. Well, as soon as you saw the salesman on TV from the waist up, and when you see him in person, turns out his feet are right below where the screen shows. I honestly never actually watched the anime like up to that point. So maybe at some point I'll like actually watch it. I might watch it subbed rather than dubbed because let's be real, the, the four kids dub is not great. Anyway, let's take a look throughout the rest of Planet Popstar and uh, see what's up here. This is probably some more of these weird um, shadow hearts or whatever they are. Can I hold down a button to make it go faster? Uh, apparently not. Oh, that ain't it. That also ain't it. Okay. There just isn't a button. Anyway, friendly field. I guess we probably need to make friends with the green ladder here. Uh, sorry, Bunny. Yeah, there we go. Cat on Groom Matter sweep away our troubles. Well, sometimes you have to be stand you have to be standing on said troubles in order for Groom Hatter to realize uh, they need to do something. I wonder if I can uh yeah, apparently. Bluster Ninja. Alright. Oh jeez. Get excited there, Kirby. And the other game where Groom is an ability is Dreamland 3. I'm pretty sure that is correct. I feel like Star Allies tries to like bring back as many abilities as possible. Let's see what we got over here. Yeah, that's uh, it's already what I got. Well, actually, no. Right. Okay. 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 I guess I'm gonna have to get rid of Ninja, which is unfortunate. Let's go ahead and re-enter this room. Bluster Cutter.
Well, that was neat. Oh dear. That's not what I wanted to happen, but okay. It happened now. So I think the dream friends uh, can't be replaced with a uh, with a copy pedestal. But yeah, any other friend definitely can. friend can you blow this up is that something you can do now mm -hmm. ah. well, that's what we're doing here friend circle I mean, I, I'm in a few friend circles, but I would definitely not say that they're anything like this. Like, I can't merge with my friends and turn into a wheel like this. I mean, you, you can replace dream friends, yes. Just that you, like, if a dream friend runs into a copy pedestal, I don't think that will, that, I don't think that will replace it, what I'm saying. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant either. <laughs> You can only have one of these. Yeah, that's also true. Well, this one's coming along nicely. So one more set of uh, rare pieces should take care of that puzzle. We've also unlocked the Dream Palace for this world. So well, let's see who we can get out of this one. Close my eyes. And who do we get? Let me get the Dreamland 2 friends! Who are we swapping out? Hmm. Well, you can take five, Bandana D. We'll see you again, I'm sure. All right, next up is Leaf Resort. No, 
and swimming. As usual with uh, Kirby games, you cannot use abilities underwater except for a select few. Things that can be carried externally, like hammer or sword, usually. With the exception of Cutter, because you know, cut Cutter is something that you don't uh, you don't so much carry, you just throw them, basically. It's the only game where I've seen you a player one can't use it. That is true. Um, okay, we got a fire frame. Ooh, all right. Chumbrella. Cool. That's actually kind of a cute name, I'm not gonna lie. Not a big fan of Umbrella for the most part. I'll use it if I have to, but that's about it. And it doesn't look like, uh... Oh, you're expecting me to have Umbrella for this. Okay. Uh -huh. That's too bad. If we had, if we still had the uh, umbrella, or a parasol, or whatever you want to call it, we could use it underwater. Unfortunately, my disdain for uh, for that ability means that we're not doing that right now. And it's not a bad ability. It's just it's very slow and. I don't like playing slow. I like speedy quick characters. I uh, didn't miss anything, did I? I don't think I did. Yes, Kirby is high speed dude. Oh, uh, got. Okay, jump. There we go. Just trying to press B to jump, because B is jumping in like every other game. Well, the B position of the movies. Well, I guess we're doing uh, we're doing this again. On top of that, we're gonna need another one. But we're also gonna need fire. And this uh, this one ain't messing around. I'm gonna s I'm gonna s use three slots worth of abilities here. Hey, I actually cover up everyone like this. Turns out that was necessary.
in order to unlock the extra stage. And if nothing else, we're going to be doing all of the stages. to that hyper candy until everyone's reassembled here. Stand here and not do anything. Still have a little bit of candy left for you, bud. I think uh, I think Kawasaki was about to do something there. Kind of interrupted him by uh, shoving him off screen. Go game! Let's go! That was gonna be a two. Yep. So that should be it for the rare pieces for this one. Boom. So now we can start working on rare pieces for other puzzles. So we got Echo's Edge, and at this little bend here, Inside Islands. Well, let's go to Inside Islands right now. I had to think for a second where this song came from, but then I realized it's Kirby's Adventure you do. I don't think we can, uh, I don't think we can make the, the sleepy dude into a friend, unfortunately. So I need to friend the spider. I think I'm getting this right. I'm doing this right. Friend bounce. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is definitely uh, a little too high tech of a version for. Uh, for the Nintendo, it probably is the uh, remake. But yes, one of our new abilities for this game is Spider. And speaking of uh, Game Boy Advance remakes, this song, The Orange Ocean,
And for someone who says, who said he doesn't care much about, um, about Parasol, I feel like I've had Parasol for a little bit now. Yeah, this was always one of my favorite uh, songs from Kirby's Adventure. Yeah, it sucks that I can't uh, I can't use my my parasol upward. I can only use it downward at and at an angle. I'm starting to feel like I opened a cursed chest in Diablo 3 here. I've admittedly been playing a fair bit of Diablo 3 since Season 28 started. couple of puzzle pieces that I want up. Nothing to sneeze at. Also nothing to write home about, but you know. Looks like we got crash bombs around here. You doing it right there, Coop? Stop eating me, sir. Oh yeah, I can totally, you know, easily get that. Oh, there it is. It's coming down. I hoping that would have been a cleaner jump than that, but I did have a feeling that it was a, a top spot. Oh yeah, we did. Echo's Edge. And yes, yeah, so you can of course open the pause menu at any time and see 
what your ability can do. And also what your ability can merge with. General controls. And also control options. Oh, that just does that. Ah yes, I forgot about the fact that Rick can breathe fire for some reason. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh jeez. Yeah, we ain't combating that. Turns out we don't need to. Cast off these guys covered. Thank you for being so tall, friend. Door number one. Door number two. Door number three. Or Mike. Hmm. All right. Worried there for a second that uh, I might not have been able to actually clear that out without like a fire hammer, perhaps. Sizzle hammer. Miss the superstar mic ability? It was Oh, because like because specifically of the sound effect or the Sister. <laughs> Yeah, that was a pretty good sound effect. But you might have noticed, I actually was able to charge up that third hit. Oh, accidentally made friends with Rocky. Well, alright then. Thank you for your service, Chef Kawasaki. Let's get those stars.
uh, back and forth on that one. What if I don't want to go in that direction? I feel like there is something back to the left. Yeah. Anyway, excuse me while I play Donkey Kong Country here. And now this guy. This is our introduction to uh, to this dude. I don't know his name. But basically he carries around the key, and if he drops the key, the key breaks. He must carry the key to the door. Seems like a rather silly mechanic, but okay. And they uh, start us off with a nice little no-lose scenario. Now what do we got here? Is that another bridge? Yep. Friend bridge. That one definitely can be lost. Also, the game is nice enough to not put you in a position where you, you immediately, like, have to move to the side. You know what, let's just leave that dude right there. But it doesn't put us in a danger position. just kind of moves us over to the right side safely. One of those gimmicks that exist only because we needed a gimmick. Pretty much. does sort of interesting things. Just that uh, it, I will admit it's pretty filmic. And I'm really glad that, for, that Forgotten Land kind of broke that mold. Nature's Naval? Is that the name of this, of this stage? Yep, nature's navel. All right. I have to think of it. I wonder if I can have another one of the buddies. Yeah, here we go. You have a bluster hammer. It's pretty bare bones. Huh? Yeah, I remember there actually being like a. Uh, first day patch, which is usually not a good sign. And to give you an additional idea, the current version of, uh, of Cody Star Allies is version 4. There are very few Nintendo games that make it all the way to version 4.0. I mean, there is also that, but I am, like, I'm adding to that point of, uh, like, 
there was a patch immediately, and then there was several more patches, like, throughout the year. And then we ended up with version 4. Okay, I get it, game. There we go. I forget if there's a uh, a float limit for uh, for Kirby for this game. I'm gonna guess probably not, because I've been going for a little bit here. I think I'm not seeing that. Well, so much for my ability, but uh, yeah, totally a secret here. sure that was worth losing my uh, my bluster ninja but uh, it is what it is I suppose sizzle cutter that's not gonna help me against the fire enemy let's be real oh that's something else there we go bluster cutter another door Another extra stage. So yes, there might be more than one extra stage in a level. Splash card. Yeah, we sure can. Mm. Rick Kine and Koo, elemental superstars. Let's not imbue our, uh, our ability further here. Ow. Okay, that's on me. 
Moved a little too fast. Wait a minute. Tricky game. And there's our rare puzzle piece too. Sometimes you just gotta have a keen eye for this sort of thing. Now, I haven't checked, but usually what ends up happening with, uh, with Kirby games that have this specific goal game is if you hit, uh, oh, picture complete, the first rival. You finish your first celebration picture. See all pictures in the picture gallery. But yes, in uh, Kirby games that have this specific goal game, um, usually it goes that if you can hit 7, then 6, then 5, and so on all the way to 1, when you hit 1, you will get 30 extra lives. I haven't actually tried this, but it does apply to pretty much every other... Uh, Kirby game with that uh, goal game, so I would not be surprised, and I will probably not be attempting it. Uh, this is Kirby's Dream Land 2. Uh, I don't remember which world. But this is definitely from uh, Doom Land 2. This one, very recognizable from Kirby Superstar. Can't go on top of that one. Of course it does show up in different places along uh, the Kirby Superstar Adventure, but I'm pretty sure the first place it shows up is uh, the Great Cave Offensive. Right at the start. Gosh dang it. There we go. Oh, looks like I'm going to need to use whip for this. Specifically fire whip. Or scissor whip, I guess. It's pretty much the Great Cave Offensive's theme, but yeah. It shows up primarily in that. But not exclusively.
A very fire and ice world here. Come on, guys, keep up. Well, down goes Rocky. I'm not gonna be able to revive you. You can revive a uh, a fallen comrade by holding down X next to him, but uh, that was not the time to try to demonstrate that. Well, let's make friends with this room here, I guess. Sizzle Ninja. A nice sizzle ninja that I had for a second. Okay. Didn't think that was gonna be something that I could do, but hey. Conjure up some food for us. There we go. Let's go. That was early. That's more rare pieces. Doing good so far. And let's head on to Sacred Square. Miss L and Y to select which friend to say goodbye to. This little uh, Kirby X Wild Arms theme. Appropriate considering that Lolo has uh, started playing Wild Arms. Wait, right, what's happened? A rock Painter? Oh, that was neat. Just straight up entering schmuck formation here. Let's go. Oh, 
interesting. So if you have certain abilities, like fire, then the stars we throw are also imbued with that ability. I guess Beam is not one of those. Interesting. The cutter is one of those. Well, that's not how we find out. That puzzle piece. Oh. Ah. And you can switch between your dudes. Fireness or blowing wind at you. Seems like not the thing to do in that situation. Also, I now feel like I might have missed something. Because I kind of headed toward the, uh, the exit a little too fast there. Get the rare piece. That's the important thing. It does kind of suck that uh, Hal, Hal doesn't make like a standalone shmup. Because I feel like like some of their or some of their earlier shmup attempts were definitely not that great. Such as, for instance, Space Fortress. I think that was Hal. Um, or Sky Fortress. Something like that. But. Um, like, some of the shmuppiness that happens in Kirby games is really neat. Anywhere we're, we're fighting Mega, Mega Knight. God damn it, Meta Knight. Let's get some, uh, some sizzle going on here. Well, I accidentally lose my soul. And now there are four of you. Yes, you can actually um, inhale your friends. Which leads to the question, uh, can you also swallow them? And the answer is yes, 
uh, it will give you their ability, except if it's a dream friend. Ow. Nope. Well. Tournament banned Mennonite. Well, fortunately, we keep all of our friends. I mean, the game has got to also give us an ability at the very start of the fight. It's just my job to not lose it immediately. We're not going to get to keep it, but here's a win. Pretty much the same thing as a uh, Kirby Superstar. doing too well. Ah, uh, you can time out the sword. See if we can help out Como here. There we go. Who is that mysterious master man? So that's pretty much all of the mainstay bosses. So what's left now? Well, I guess we f we uh, follow that uh, dark heart and find out. Oh, that's ominous. Can you please not commit large gashes in Popstar? That's a very rude. We got zoning bylaws, you know. Onward. Now let's get these sorted out here. Another two pieces there. And now we get to play as Meta Knight. And also these randos. The Fortress of Shadows Gem Bastion. Also I haven't been reading these. Even the stoic Meta Knight has fallen prey to the enemy's evil, evil influence and now their foreboding fortress has suddenly appeared. Why have they come to this land? Why? Undeterred, Kirby and his friends charge forward with gusto. Alright. Well, we shall uh, start looking inside this gem bastion, if uh, that's what it wants to be known as, after the break.
So y'all can take a moment, get something to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall explore the Gem Bastion. So, I'll see you in a bit.